Hi, I'm Mike McBride with Mace McBride. The most sweeping change to Michigan's auto insurance law since the passage of No Fault 1972 occurred earlier this year. A number of the material changes that we've put in place will require Michigan residents to make critical decisions about their auto insurance that they've not had to make before. And those decisions will have impacts about how their claims will be adjusted. Decisions like what kind of personal injury protection limit, or PIP, which is your medical coverage, what kind of limit and level should an individual carry now? Formerly, it was unlimited, and those decisions weren't have to be, didn't have to be made. Now, a particular level will have to be selected. How would those changes affect my entire healthcare mechanism in my household? What kind of liability limits should I carry? What kind of changes in the litigation environment with this, with this change in the law will affect that decision? How will resident relatives and, and people who are relatives of mine who may not be residents in the household, how will their, their coverage be affected with these changes? Throughout this video series, we'll be addressing these questions and more to help navigate you through all these decisions in order to design the auto insurance that's right for your particular situation. We'll talk about PIP choice, that personal injury protection. We'll talk about the MCCA charges and how that's changing. The considerations and pitfalls that you should have in selecting the appropriate levels for your medical coverage. We'll talk about the order of priority for these PIP coverage limits. The change in the premium rating factors will also be discussed, and that is how, how your auto insurance will now, premium will now be promulgated, will have some different changes as well. New liability limits will have to be considered. Formerly, the, the minimum liability limits were at a level of 2040. They're now moving up. And with a change in the litigation environment, you also want to consider that when you're selecting the liability limits and the, and the prospects of adding an umbrella policy. What is underinsured and uninsured motorist coverage? And how is that exposure now materially changing under this new reform law? We want to also make sure that we align expectations about premium changes with the reality of what's happening. There's been an awful lot of discussion out of the legislature and out of the media about what that prospectively might be, but we think that we'll have a better insight for you on what you can really expect once all this takes effect. If you're currently a Mace McBride client, we want to thank you for your business. And I know our team stands ready to help you navigate through all these changes. If you're not a current client, I know we would appreciate the opportunity to work with you to help you navigate through these changes and make proper decisions for yourself and your family. Thanks again. We hope you find this video series interesting.